after a fifth round of voting on Wednesday afternoon, we're down to the final two candidates for the Conservative leadership contest, with the winner becoming the UK's next Prime Minister. The contest was announced following the resignation of current Prime Minister Boris Johnson after more than 50 people from his own party quit in protest over his leadership. Here's a bit more about who is in the running for the UK's top job. Who is going to be the UK's next Prime Minister? Well, after just nine days of voting by Conservative MPs, eight candidates have been whittled down to two. It's been a whirlwind ride. Let's find out who the two finalists are. Here's who's in the running to be the next Prime Minister. Rishi Sunak might be a familiar face to some of you. He was the Chancellor of the Exchequer, aka the person in charge of the UK's public spending, for two years. Until he quit his job in protest against the Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He's a popular candidate for lots of Conservative MPs, who feel he did a good job managing the UK spending during the tricky years of the coronavirus pandemic. I helped get this country through an incredibly difficult period over the last couple of years. I made sure that we supported those who needed our help at every step with interventions like the furlough. That's what people can expect from me going forward. And he's made promises to keep spending money to help the economy while the cost of living is going up. But some MPs don't like the fact that he turned against Boris Johnson and are worried that he hasn't promised to cut taxes. He also came under fire earlier this year when he was fined by the police for breaking lockdown rules in June 2020. Next up is Liz Truss, who came up from third place for a spot in the final two. At the moment, she's Foreign Secretary, but she's also had other top roles, Morning, including Mom. Secretary of State for International Trade and Secretary of State for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs. Liz Truss has won support from MPs for promising to cut taxes. To deliver on transforming our economy cutting taxes for ordinary people across the country. And for her loyalty to current Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Earlier this year, a speech encouraging UK citizens to fight against Russia in Ukraine was criticised. And some are concerned the tax cuts she's promised will hurt the UK's economy. So, there you have it. The two candidates to be the next Prime Minister. Moving vans at the ready. Number 10 is calling. Right, so we've heard about the candidates, but what do you want from a Prime Minister? I think a leader shouldn't bully anyone and be kind and caring. I think a leader should be confident and put people first, because that way people can see him as a role model. I think a leader should have a good mindset so that they can see the positive in everyone and not the negative. I think a good leader should have a good listening so they know what's going on. I think a leader should be respectful so that they can include everyone. I think a good leader should be encouraging and supportive to their teammates. I think a leader should never turn their backs on the people that follow them. I think a leader should be trustworthy so then the people can believe what they say. Oh, thanks for that, guys. Well, to find out more about who could be the next Prime Minister, make sure you head over to the Newsroom website for loads more information.